Hi, I'm Christian, the Crisis Coach. Here's five ways to deal with rejection. In life, everyone encounters rejection. If not daily, it'll certainly be weekly or monthly. Different points, you might get rejected with your feelings, rejected from a job, rejected from opportunities. Whatever that rejection may be, we need to learn to deal with it. Here's my five ways to do that. Learn from your rejection. Even if you learn that actually rejection isn't as awful as what you thought it was gonna be. Maybe you asked someone out for a date and they said no. Yeah, they said no. But what about the second person or third person? Who may that be? Maybe you went for a job and they said no, but you've realized now it's maybe rejection isn't that bad. You know, there's lots of rejection out there. And if you don't go out and get 10 rejections, how are you gonna accomplish the things that you wanna do? Because you don't get everything first time round. Nobody gets everything they want first time round. They must work on it. So take the rejections as more a sign of success. So if you've just been rejected, it's a sign that you're making it, you're giving it a go and you're giving it everything you can in this life and you're gonna get exactly what you wanna be. Acknowledge your emotion. If you don't acknowledge the emotion of the event of the rejection, you're never gonna deal with it. So ride it out. There's no point in hiding away. Rejection is, it's a feeling of loss inside yourself. Accept that you're getting that feeling. It's not, you're no different to any other human being. It's normal to feel angry, upset, lost, all them things. It, it, it's normal. You've got to ride them out to get through it. You must erode the emotion. So if you suppress that emotion, you'll never get over the actual rejection. Have a look at the situation and try and learn from it rather than letting it defeat you. Focus on what you already have in your life. Whenever things go bad, we forget that of all the good things that we have got. Your life, you've got good hobbies, good people around, your family, friends, maybe a good job, good place to live, nice area. Whatever it may be, when you start appreciating gratitude of the situation, you can start sending your brain again. Because as soon as you start thinking of the positive things you've got, you're dealing with this rejection, it's really sad, it's horrible. It always is. So start getting a little piece of paper and write down five things that are good for you, write five things that are making your life that little bit better. Five things that make you feel grateful for having, because then your brain's tickety tickety boom, tickety boom, tickety boom, ticking over positive vibes in there. Because you're going through this rejection and you've got to rebuild through the rejection and get something out of it. So be grateful for already what you have got. Rejection is evidence that you're pushing yourself to the limits. So whatever it is you didn't get or didn't happen, in order to life to, to gain success, you must be rejected. So I look back on all my rejections and I think they were all building me up in each part I went to my next successes. So remember that it's, it's these rejections that you think now are breaking you and the worst thing in the world, but they're actually possibly leading to something that was meant to happen. The universe always has your back and it might have something else ready for you to go into. And this might be something less of a, less of the damning thing that you think it is and more of an opportunity waiting to happen. Don't be thinking it's all about you. If you've been rejected by a, a partner, how do you know what's going on with them? How do you know what went on with their past and it's got nothing to do with you and it's maybe their circumstances? It's not necessarily all about you. Things, you know, we've just gone through a lockdown in the UK and everyone had a little bit of a feeling of rejection because of the loss. We were all at loss. We felt rejected in life by life itself, but we were all going through it together. Remember, it's not always about you personally, but it is about your, you personally to get through this and come out of it on top. Refuse to let the rejection define you. One person's opinion or one person's thoughts are just that one person's per thoughts. There's seven billion people in the world so if you've been rejected by one of them, can't quite do the maths there, but six billion, huge amount of numbers that are there to not reject you. And one person's opinion of you, it's not, it's not you. That's them, it could be them. You define yourself as who you are. And all of us um, have different ways of liking and working with different people. That might be the one person that you that didn't quite hit the sparks for with you. They're not defining you. You will be defined by how you deal with this. You'll, de you'll be defined by how you come out of this, by how you want to come out of it. 